Thank you. Um, let's start with Jessica, but I was hoping both players could address this. Just the situation you're in, um, kind of celebrating the success of the season and taking on what is a great opportunity, but balancing that with what is also a pretty daunting scenario for your team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was excited when I heard we were playing UConn. I honestly wanted to play UConn just to say, like, oh, yeah, well, we played UConn even though, like, even if we, you know, lose by a lot tomorrow. But just to uh, take in that experience in that moment and kind of just bring it uh, with me through um, my last year uh, for next year. And, yeah, I think um, our season went well. Uh, we had some ups and downs, but I think we learned a lot. And obviously playing UConn tomorrow, we're all really excited, and we're just going to take in the moment and have fun. Pat? Jessica, obviously you've been the focal point of a lot of defenses this year, but UConn has a reputation for taking away the top score on the opposing team. So how do you deal with that? How are you able to get your shot off? At, or, or do you have a plan B if they, uh, if they decide that, that you're not going to be uh, scoring tomorrow? Uh, yeah, um, you know, hearing that, you know, one of their shortest players is like six foot, that's, you know, one of our tall players. So that it's going to be a little different playing UConn tomorrow. But, you know, just getting my other teammates involved, uh, sharing the ball, moving the ball, um, I think we could get uh, some shots. Hopefully if other um, my teammates start getting hot, they're going to have to, you know, just not really focus on me and focus on the whole team as one. So I'll try and get some shots up, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Ace, I think I might have cut you off if you had an answer to the first question about playing Connecticut. Um, you know, it's an amazing experience to be able to experience with these guys. And, you know, it's something that you just come into the game and at the end of the day, you just play the game of basketball. Uh, they're a wonderful team and it couldn't be more excited to play a different team. I mean, what team would you want to be drawn to besides UConn? You know, they're the, one of the best teams in the nation. and that's who you want to play against. If we're going to go out and play, why not play against the best? Ian? Is it nice to have uh, practice today? You're going to walk in, you're going to see 11 championship banners and just like the whole you know, mentality of Gamble Pavilion. Yeah, I mean, just walking into their arenas, so it's, you know, you're kind of drawn back. You only see it on TV. And just seeing, um, you know, I saw Gino at one of our tournaments and you're just like, oh, my God. Like, And now he's kind of got to know your name because you're going to be playing against him. So I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm going to take some pictures. If I don't know if that's allowed, but obviously <laughs> I want to I wanna take a lot of pictures, you know, just kind of taking that moment. Um, you know, my parents are just as excited as I am. And I know my teammates are uh, pumped to play tomorrow. Ace, do you want to take the question too, please? Um, you know, it's it's a great arena to be in. It's a great place to play in. Um, it's very, very exciting to be able to play against, you know, one of the greatest coaches in history. So, you know, while still playing for one of the greatest coaches in history. So, you know, it's it's going to be, you know, really exciting to be able to experience that with my teammates and, you know, just go out there and play. Over here. Um, Ace, obviously you and I have talked about um, your experience. Uh, maybe maybe the rest of these guys don't know that you played at Maryland and you were in two Final Fours. Um, you played against UConn. Talk about how your experience in those situations is going to help the team today. Um, you know, me being in, you know, two Final Fours and then having the opportunity to play UConn before, it just, you know, helps my teammates understand, you know, it's still basketball, just going into a great team and great game to play. You know, we're going to compete and we're going to play. And just being there to be able to be that comfort factor for my teammates and know that, you know, we – are going to compete and we're going to do our best and just play a great basketball game. Oh. We the next question. We have somebody Anybody other questions for student athletes? Pat. Jessica, obviously growing up in the Northeast, did you follow UConn growing up? Who were some of the people that you um that, that that you kind of patterned your game after and um and can you talk about walking into Gamble and what that was like? Yeah, I mean, I always UConn was always winning, so that's kind of like the face of uh, women's basketball is UConn. So I just followed, you know, everyone on that team just and to be coached by uh, – I'm sorry, I'm losing my <laughs> train of thought right now. But, um, you can start Just over. restart. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, just uh, UConn being the face of the women's basketball, uh, you know, I always looked up to them just, you know, wanting – um, to be in a practice, like, 
just kind of wondering what they learn. And um, obviously, I kind of watched a little bit more of the NBA. But, you know, girls don't play like guys, they say. But I, I like, um, I watch the NBA a lot. I uh, watch Skylar Diggins uh, as a college player. But um, UConn, I just, um, I always watch them as, like, one. I never really picked out any certain players. But um, obviously, it's an honor to be playing them and kind of just see how um, great players work together and kind of just see where we are as players. Roger. Jessica, how, how much fun is it? <clears throat> how much fun is it to play with a coach who gives you that green light to to shoot so much? I mean, you led the country in three point shots this year. Yeah, that obviously my career would not be the same. Like if I didn't have a, um, Coach Joe as my coach, he gave me the green light ever since I stepped out on the court for him. He said every shot's a good shot, and you know, just hearing that kind of gave me a lot of confidence to take uh, off-balance shots, off-balance three-pointers, and just these kind of crazy shots you wouldn't really want your uh, your player to take, but he kind of, he he embraces those shots. So I, I build up a lot of confidence um, just from him telling me that. Pat? And Ace, can you talk about what you remember about the tournament games you played against uh, against, against UConn, your teams played against UConn, and, and what you take from that? Um, you know, they're a great team. They're going to compete to the buzzer sounds. Um, so, you know, just taking that away, it's understanding that everyone works just as hard. So, you know, the team like UConn, they're a great team. Like, there's nothing that you can take from them across the board. But, you know, you just have to remind your team that, you come out here and you play your hardest and you leave it every like you leave everything you have out there on the court and you know whatever happens happens but as long as you go out there and compete there's nothing more that I can ask of my teammates was there one or two moments that you, that you recall that stick in your mind about those games um you know i would have to say you know i was young it was my red shirt freshman year and um <laughs> i'll never forget my teammate passed me the ball like 2 seconds left on the shot clock and I go to put up a shot. I promise you I'm standing on a three-point line. Brianna Seward is in the paint. I promise she's in the paint. And all I remember is her blocking my shot. <laughs> and, you know, I kind of look at my coach. You know, at the time, Coach B just goes, hey, just play. It's fine. And then, you know, a couple possessions after that, I'm standing at the top of the key. And I see Brianna Stewart again. And my coach goes, you know, shoot it. And I shoot it and I make it. So then now it's like, okay, so, you know, to be a player who blocks shots and then to have your shot blocked, and then to go ahead and score, it's kind of like, you know, anything can happen. You just got to keep playing through these possessions, and you can't let anything discourage you out there on the court. We have any other questions for the student athletes? Got a little bit more time with them. If, we... if not, we'll dismiss them. Thank you very much. And we'll start uh, questions and answers for Coach Hay. Pat, you want to get going? Coach, I'll ask you this, the same thing. Obviously, UConn is known for taking away the, the other team's yeah. biggest offensive threat. So how do you deal with that tomorrow? Plan B, let other people shoot. I mean, we do the same thing in our conference when we're playing teams. We take, try and take away the best option of the other team. Um, there's, you know, there's only so much you can do. So we do play, even though Jess gets a ton of shots, we, play, uh, we have a playing style and a system that um, should create open shots for other people. Now, maybe not when you're playing UConn, but when we're playing a normal team, we, we get looks for other people too. Um, so when that, you know, if, if they do take her away, then uh, somebody else will hopefully make the most of their opportunities. A reminder that the, uh, the St. Francis locker room is, is open uh, during this period. Mike, Anthony from the Hartford Current. Hi, Coach. Uh, along the same lines of what I asked of the players, just yeah. your thoughts on how you prepare your team for an opportunity like this and a task like this coming into a building like this, and uh, is there something to be said for the I don't know if you've embraced kind of a nothing to lose type um, approach. Or? Yeah, absolutely. And, and and it's not just today. It's something that we've uh, it's something that we built for for you know the whole time I've been a head coach because we we know that coming out of our conference, um, if we're going to win it, we're going to be playing a UConn or a team like that in the first round. So we we do have a, a unique playing style, and we, obviously this isn't uh, you come into a situation like this where. Um, I don't know if it's been like 20, or 20 years or more since UConn lost to a team that wasn't a major, co major 
program. Um, so it is, it's a, it's a unique experience, but we're gonna make the most of it and play as hard as we can. And, and the thing that, you know, we obviously have nothing to lose. So um, when we come in and play, um, do we wanna play our style, stay true to, to who we are? And uh, we're not playing the scoreboard as much as we're just trying to, we're trying to play as hard as we can and as well as we can for as long as we can. And it doesn't matter if we're playing UConn or if we're playing uh, an exhibition game. Um, we we want to try and stay the same and, and do the best we can every uh, every possession we can. Roger Cleland from Waterbury. Hey, Coach, can you, can you just describe Jessica's style of play? She makes it sound like, you know, she's crazy shooting off off-balance threes. Just yeah. describe her as a player. She's a great shooter, and beyond that, she has a, a she is a scorer, and she does make some crazy shots. It's uh, it's not like she's taking them every time, but she makes more shots, more difficult off balance shots, um, things that you don't see all the time, and and we're lucky to have her. So, uh, with the defensive attention she gets in our conference, it is it's amazing uh, what she's been able to do, and. She, uh, she makes contested threes. She makes, uh, you know, shots in the lane, finishing shots that are just. Uh, um, she just does things that we haven't seen really at at our level. And sometimes her, you know, sometimes the shots she struggles most on are wide open threes because uh, she's not used to having space to get them off. Um, but she is a really unique player and just has a great shooting touch and has the ability to change her release point, her body angle, her arm angle. Like She has the ability to get the ball in the basket in unique ways. Pat, Eaton Rob from Associated Press. Coach, teams that come in here for a first time kind of take two approaches. One is like, it's all business. We're not going to talk about where we are and who we're playing and, and we're going to practice and, and others are like well let's embrace this how often do you get to look be in an arena with 11 banners and how often do you get to meet a Gino or Am and that kind of stuff is there a balance there how do you get them to not be so wide-eyed as to not focus tomorrow but in still enjoy where they are and what they've accomplished uh, I think the wide-eyed part is going to happen uh, but you can also be wide-eyed and focus and uh, there won't be a there won't be a change in you know business versus having fun. Like we want to approach it as a, a you know great opportunity and a great experience to have a lot of fun uh, and do something that that is uh, you know a dream of you know all of ours in the program and the players too. Um, but there is no like our our all business is similar to that anyway because our program we do like to I, I want our players to have a lot of fun um, every game we play. In our pre in our preparation, um, so we, you know, that's something that we want in our program to be to have fun, to enjoy the experience every day, whether it's practice in October or right now. Um, and you can still uh, you can still be businesslike, and you can still play as hard as you can, play your heart out, and and prepare, but also love what you do and have fun doing it. So we'll have hopefully a little bit of both. Um, Roger, was it has it always been your style of play to embrace the three, or have you embraced the three because Jess has a, a knack for making them? Yeah, from from day one, we were going to emphasize shooting the three more. Uh, having Jess here helps. Um, it's something that I try and recruit to, um, and it kind of really started. We had. Uh, I mean, a couple of years ago, we had a really tough season, um, and we were really bad. One of the worst teams in the country, one of the worst teams in the conference, and we had uh, we had one we had one really great player and scorer, and we had a hard time putting the ball in the basket consistently with anybody else, and uh, we were easy to guard, and so we I felt like we needed more shooters, and so that's uh, since that time. Um, we're trying to recruit three-point shooters, and it's also a, a style of play that, that, that there's a high risk, high reward. Like sometimes we'll lose games to, to teams that we maybe maybe shouldn't because uh, if we don't shoot the ball well. Um, but our playing style gives us a chance to win some games 
that that we shouldn't also if we come out and we shoot the ball well and and you know if we shoot 53s and get hot and make 25 of them we got a pretty good shot against teams that we may not otherwise Pat how does Ace's experience help this team and and what are you looking for her to, to help the other guys who haven't been through this maybe it's uh I mean, it's really unique having her experiences on our campus at St. Francis and, and where she came from, from Maryland. So right when she shows up, uh, you, you, don't, you don't have that type of transfer at a school our size a lot of times. So all the, all the players in, the, in our locker room have always kind of looked up to her. Um, and you know, she's been through all of this stuff. And the rest of us haven't really. So um, hopefully, you know, hopefully like what she said over here when she answers the question is just you know, the, the recognition that, um, you know, she played at Maryland, one of the best teams in the country, and they would come play UConn and get beat pretty bad. And she, so her reminder to the rest of the team that it, it's not really, you know, don't worry about the end result. Go out and play as hard as you can, and then we'll see what happens. Like, it's basketball. And, you know, that's, that's the thing that we want to focus on. Like, play basketball the best that we can when we're on the floor. And, like, that's all we can ask of our players. And I think that is, uh, you know, with, with Ace kind of reinforcing that message and, and having been here before and in that environment some, hopefully that helps. Um, you know, hopefully that helps with the rest of our program. Mike? Yeah. Just curious if you've gotten to know Gino over the years, if you've run into him today, had a chance to, ch to chat. What's your relationship like? Now, I, I met him like, I don't know, I've been at St. Francis for 10 years, so I probably met him like 50, 14 years ago when he was coaching his son in AAU, and, and uh, he autographed a book for me because I met him in a lobby of a hotel in West Virginia uh, through somebody else. Um, other than that, Today's the only time that we talk for a minute or two. So it's our paths haven't crossed really. And, um, you know, hopefully after this experience, maybe I'll have a chance to talk with him more. But uh, I think, uh, like, uh, what, what he's, what, what the program he's built, what he's done here is, is amazing. And I think, uh, I think Gino's, um, you know, one of the best coaches in history in any sport. I don't think, I don't know how anybody else could really top what, what they've done here. And, and that's, that's any sport in, in, in the history of sports, I think, so. Where were you working 14 years ago when you ran into him? Uh, I was a, uh, I was an assistant. I, I mean, I, I was helping a guy out coaching boys AAU. Um, I was, going to be going into my first year's teaching and I was an assistant high school coach um, or between being like a grad assistant for uh, Randolph Macon uh, down in Virginia. So I was, uh, yeah, I was nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was, uh, yeah, I was a volunteer. I was a volunteer, you know, division three coach kind of where mostly just, you know, observe, don't mess things up, stay out of the way and learn a lot. And, uh, and then I was able to coach, uh, uh, be a JV coach for high school, for Benedictine High School in Richmond. And, and that was really cool. And then, uh, and then, I went to, then I got an opportunity at VCU to be an operations person for a couple of years. And then, uh, and then uh, Susan gave me a shot at St. Francis. And yeah, I, was, I had one shot at it, and that's why I'm here now. Where was that? Do you remember where you crossed paths with him? Yeah, it was like in a comfort inn in Morgantown, <laughs> uh, you know. And the reason I met him was because uh, I was helping uh, Bob Foley coach, who's a former coach at Providence, and knew him from the early, the, or the early Big, e Big East, early '90s days. So I was standing next to Bob with the with the Gino book that I was reading. So, <laughs> and yeah, that was like so he saw the book and. So I have an autograph book somewhere at home. For... Anybody else with questions for Coach? Okay. 
Uh, St. Francis Lockroom can...